Hello friends, welcome to Storytime. December 10th begins Hanukkah, the Festival of Lights. So to kick off a flurry of seasonal stories coming your way, here is All of a Kind Family Hanukkah by Emily Jenkins and Paul O. Zielinski, based on the classic books by Sidney Taylor. Enjoy. When darkness comes, it will be the first night of Hanukkah 1912. Here on Henry Street, neighbors on New York's Lower East Side have set menorahs in the windows of the tenement buildings, but the candles are not yet lit. Gertie knows about latkes, but she can't remember how they taste. Mama makes the potato pancakes only on Hanukkah. The snow flies up when Gertie kicks it. Her boots make a rhythm on the sidewalk. She sticks out her tongue and eats a snowflake. Woo! Let's go upstairs, says Sarah, shivering. I have to help cook. Come on, you can watch us. I don't want to watch, says Gertie. I want to help too, please? When Papa comes home, says Sarah, we'll light the shamash and then the first candle on the menorah. Just that one candle for the first night of Hanukkah. I know, says Gertie. Then we'll say the blessings in Hebrew. I know that too, says Gertie. We'll fry the latkes and schmaltz. Should I tell you why? To remember the oil that burned for eight days and eight nights in Jerusalem, says Sarah. Gertie wants to say I know again, but she doesn't. Her boots make a rhythm on the stairs. Inside, a chicken roasts in the heavy iron oven. Carrots stand ready to be put in boiling water. Warm applesauce cools in a bowl. By the time Gertie hangs up her coat, her four sisters are already at work. Ella is 12, Henny is 10, Sarah is 8, Charlotte is 6, Gertie, who is 4, thinks it is nice being all girls. All of a kind, Papa and Mama like to say. Charlotte is using a potato peeler. Long strips of potato skin drift onto a plate. Please, can I help peel potatoes? asks Gertie. Charlotte hands over the peeler. You have to press hard to get all the brown off. No, Mousel, says Mama. She gives the peeler back to Charlotte. It's too sharp. Sarah has a bowl of peeled potatoes in cold water. She grates them into an even bigger bowl. The shreds have a sharp smell. Please, can I have a turn? Gertie asks. Mmm, the grater is sharper than the peeler, says Mama. Why don't you go look at the library book you brought home? No, it is special to make latkes. Potatoes peeled, now potatoes grated. What's next? Henny is chopping onions with a heavy knife. Gertie knows Mama won't let her help with this one. I wish I could chop, she says. No, you don't, says Henny, wiping her eyes. Chopping onions is the worst of all the jobs. You're lucky. You don't have to do anything. You can just play all the time. Potatoes peeled, then potatoes grated. Now onions chopped. Gertie doesn't want to play. Mama has cracked eggs into a big china bowl without Gertie's help. She sprinkles salt on top. She shakes in matzo meal. Potatoes peeled, then potatoes grated and onions chopped. Now eggs, salt, and matzo meal. Mama stirs it all together. I wanted to help with the eggs. Gertie goes over to big sister Ella at the stove. Why does Mama do everything without me? You can help me, says Ella. I'll pick you up. Two big pans hiss with schmaltz. It smokes and there are bubbles along the edges. Mama comes over with the latka mixture. Put her down now, Ella. When we fry, the grease could spit and burn her. I don't want to go down, shouts Gertie. I want to help. Gertie's boots make a racket on the kitchen floor. Mama takes Gertie firmly by the hand. They march to the bedroom. I will call you when it is time to say the blessings, Mama says quietly. Until then, I don't want to hear anything more. The door closes behind Mama. Gertie crawls under the bed she shares with Charlotte and lies on her tummy. It is cold on the floor. 
They will miss her when they can't find her. Mama will be sorry she didn't let Gertie help. She will wish she'd been nicer to her mousel. But oh, the smells from the kitchen are good. Potatoes and onions fried in schmaltz, latkes rich and crispy. Gertie can hear her sisters laughing as they set the table. Now Ella is singing Rock of Ages. Charlotte's voice joins in. Will Mama ever call for Gertie? Finally, the door creaks open. Papa's feet appear by the bed. Pillow? Where is Gertie? he asks. Pillow says nothing. Library book. Where is Gertie? he asks. Library book says nothing. Oh, handkerchief hidden under the pillow and full of... Hmm, Ginger Snaps. Ginger Snaps, you are not supposed to be here. But do you know where Gertie is? asks Papa. Because I need her, I must tell you. Gertie can't help laughing. Papa is so funny. Wait, is that Gertie I hear? asks Papa. Ginger Snaps, why didn't you tell me? Papa reaches his hand under the bed. A ginger snap sits in his palm. Gertie takes it and pops it in her mouth. Come out, little one, says Papa. It's Hanukkah. All right. Gertie clambers out and puts her arms around Papa's neck, which is still cold from the out of doors. Am I glad to see you, says Papa. I brought Uncle Hyman home with me. Do you want to come say hello? Gertie shakes her head. Hmm. Mama said you had a hard day. Did you have a hard day? Gertie nods. Papa thinks. Then he says, Tell me, are you old enough to light the menorah this year? Oh, yes, Papa, I'm old enough, she says. Good, because I need some help to kindle the lights of Hanukkah. Darkness has come. Mama smiles at Gertie when she joins the family in the front room. They set the menorah in the window so the neighbors can see. Everyone gathers round. Papa strikes a match. He and Gertie light the shamash, the helper candle. They say the blessings in Hebrew. And Gertie, together with Papa, takes the shamash and lights the first candle, just one candle, for the first night of Hanukkah. For the first time. The latkes have been kept hot in the oven. Mama gives the first one to Gertie. Gertie gives a kiss to Mama. The chicken is salty and the applesauce sweet. The latkes taste of history and freedom, of love and crispy potato. The all-of-a-kind family eats together. <laughs>